Welcome back to my channel. So those of you that follow me will see that I have just come back from Mysore. I've come back home to Go Kana from Mysore. And in this vlog, I'm going to be showing you top secret places of Go Kana. So it's the places that the tourists don't go to because they don't know about them. But now the secret's going to be out. So as I said, I've just got home from Gokana. My friends welcome me back with open arms and I will show you them all welcoming me back with open arms. And then I will take you to see the secret places which are temple ponds, rice fields, waterfalls and all things that are gorgeous, gorgeous nature. So you come to Gokana town to a place called Pai Hotel, it's not a real hotel, it's a cafe here in Gokana and it's very easy to reach because as soon as you get into Gokana it's only one road. So come to the Pai Hotel and then you just continue walking straight. So yes, yeah, so you just continue walking straight and you'll see some local people out and about. Hey! <laughs> They're not waving back, never mind. That's it. So you just walk straight. You see the light. And then what we'll do very soon is we will turn right and we will enter a gorgeous little side street, which is a village. So see a little temple straight ahead there with the gods. Isn't that gorgeous? You see so much on the way. And then what you will do is you will come to Karnika Supermarket. And this is the place where you turn right. And walk straight down this street. Wow, the village street. So see, you know, you got tuk-tuks and bikes on little narrow streets on this village road. Isn't it just gorgeous as we head to the picturesque temple pond? Good and uh, you get blessings of God if you do that. 
that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Morning. It was nice meeting you. Thank you. So, Art the Court of Deep Blue Waters just so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And as the lady was saying, it's a very it's a sacred sort of place. And then you saw the temple as well. So, what the ritual is, is people come out the temples and they bathe in the water. Uh, and they also bathe in the water before going into the temples as well. So, they get clean and then they get their blessings and then they cleanse again and just taking all that beautiful energies from the water which of course is an earthly element so such a sacred sacred religious part of Gokana and again the tourists just never go so it's a really important part that perhaps the tourists will really enjoy at the corner of the temple pond you will come to this bluey turquoise house and at this bluey turquoise house, you take this road up towards the waterfall.
Pink and amazing. So nice. So pretty. And so great to see the local lifestyles. I love seeing the houses so high up and just washing on the line and just a representation of local life amongst the maze and the greenery. And that beautiful little waterfall was created by Monsoon. Isn't this nature walk just gorgeous? So this sort of walk, it's suitable for those that could be really, really tired after a long journey and really need to chill out after the stress of work. Uh, it's just beautiful. It's great for those that are interested in ecotourism. This particular trip of the secret places is also great for those that are interested in religious tourism too. So I would say the walk is about a 15 minute very gentle walk. Really chilled out walk. You can't help but decompress on this walk. It's gorgeous. So yeah, 15 minute walk from that blue house. So I'm gonna walk back now. And the next secret place I will show you is the rice fields because we can get real close up to these rice fields in this area. So I got back to the bluey turquoise house. And then what you do is you just do a straight walk just along the water side and past some houses before we get up to those gorgeous rice fields. So past these looking houses here, you see these houses and then what we do is we just walk straight a little bit and you'll come to those steps just at the side of the bike and you'll climb those steps. And then you are nicely en route to the rice field. enjoyed the secret places of Gokana as much as me. If it wasn't for the monsoon we wouldn't have that lovely little waterfall and we wouldn't have those gorgeous gorgeous rice fields there in the background and they're really important because they're our crops and if it wasn't for the monsoon then people wouldn't have work because they work here in the rice fields and also we wouldn't produce the local Gokana rice. And this, my friends, is the rice from the rice field. It is local Gokana rice and it's brown, so full of fibre. Wow, isn't that incredible? And what's so great about these top secret places is not only are they truly amazing, not only are they fantastic for those that want to just chill out and enjoy nature, but they're only a stone's throw away from the town. So they're actually really, really convenient to get to as well. Yet a lot of visitors really don't know about it. So I'm back in town now and I'm just chilling out in the pie restaurant and I which I will have a sofa. And the all important Shire.
Cheers. So I'm now just sitting outside the Thai restaurant with my cup of tea because you can do that. Mmm, so nice. So I'm just for chilling out. After chilling out all day in Gokana's top secret places. <laughs> so, um, I think I will end the vlog here today. Thank you all very much for watching. And I certainly hope that you enjoyed this vlog as much as I enjoyed creating it. So, shanty, 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 om namo shibaya. So, you know the drill, if you like the video, then press the thumbs up. And much gratitude to those that subscribe to my channel. So, thank you all very much for watching. Take care and see you on the next vlog. Welcome back to Gokarna! Thank you. Welcome back to Gokarna! Thank you.